Hey everyone, it is The Charming Giraffe, and we are going to do a painting today. I'm not sure what it's going to be just yet, <laughs> but we are using um, black, white, silver, neon yellow, and blue. Um, neon yellow just because I haven't mixed in enough, or I, don't, I haven't mixed any um, yellow since we ran out the last time. So, neon it is. Um, there's really no difference, just the color, just like if you used a different color, <laughs> um, as far as that's concerned. Um, I've mixed them many a times, used it in place of each other as needed. Uh, so yeah, I am not concerned with it being neon. It may um, turn it into something we weren't expecting, so yeah. All the black we're going to use because I think it was that neon, no, not neon. It was a rainbow flip cup I did earlier in the week. Um, it just, it was really dark and I don't think I put that much black in there. So, yeah, it just likes to either sit on top or come up from the bottom or whatever it may be. Um, I think think even in that one maybe I started the cup black with on the bottom and that's why it was so prevalent in the uh, in the painting because I really used all the rainbow colors and it didn't really come out rainbowy at all um, so yeah let's see what we're gonna do here let me um, put on some gloves and get ready and then we'll come back and do something I don't know yet what yet but we'll come back one second all right, we are back, and I have made a decision. We will do a tree ring with this one. Uh, here's what our cup looks like. Lots of blue, so hopefully we got some other colors in there. And we'll just get started. And I don't know if you can hear that, but those are the neighbor dogs barking outside. This takes a little bit of concentration. So far, I'm digging it. looks like okay. now the part that I struggle with <laughs> and now my dog wants in <laughs> See if she'll go play. If she barks again, I'll pause ya. hear her. Okay. All right. We are going to pause here for a second. Um, I'm going to let the dog in <laughs> and touch up the sides and the corners and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I have not touched the painting since the last time I paused yet. I just let the dog in. So, because I'm not sure what we're going to do here. I still think there's too much paint. So, let me run it this way a little. That way a little. Well, okay, so we're just going to keep one. We need to get this side. So yeah, we're going to have to run it some. Okay. 
like, no, no, no. Now that is not what I wanted. Okay. I think that's good as far as the quantity of paint. I will just have to go around and catch all these sides up. So this will take just a second. There's not... Some sides ran off a bunch of paint and others didn't run off as much. So they're not all completely covered. All that good bring in for the close-up all right we are back for the close-up it looks pretty amazing even though we got some extra lines stretching out that I didn't really want I still love it so we'll start in the lower left hand corner um, I love the way that this black and white and like silver mixed here and then we got like these cool like blue lines through it all that's like I really really like that and then those cells right there Going up the uh, left hand side, love the yellow, um, kind of like lacing with the blue and then the silver cells there in the middle. Then across the top, that's like very oceany to me, <laughs> with those blues and yellows mixing in. Then that kind of looks like waves. <laughs> and then the upper right hand corner, you got some greens coming out of that blue and yellow, some being side by side. Some really pretty tree ring lines here going down the uh, right hand side of the painting and then some blue and green cells mixed with that black and silver to the bottom right hand corner here. So overall very happy with how this one turned out. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and do what makes you happy.